Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about the redirect. Redirect is a generic functionality with your web server. In this tutorial, we'll talk about how to configure redirect with dispatcher configurations. Throughout this dispatcher series, we will be using three locally set up domains, aemgeeks.local, geekstutorial.local and vretail.local. So what is happening when I access this page with complete URL, page URL, it's work fine. My page is rendered properly, but in actual use cases, we hit only domain first time. So what happened if I access only with domain? It is moving to my vRetail homepage and why it is happening. So there's a no redirect, whatever the domain I have, that domain is passed, means request is passed to AEM and whatever the default page my AEM publish return, that is returned to me as well. By default, vRetail page is the default page until unless you configure, so that is returning. Even if I access another URL, let's say AEM Geeks, so rather than getting AEM Geeks homepage, I'm returning only with the vRetail page, which is from AEM server. So what should happen? We should have a redirect specific to my domain. So if I hit AEM Geeks, I should be returned with the Geeks homepage or any page as per the configuration. So this requirement can be achieved using redirects. So as part of this tutorial, I'll not talk much in detail about redirect. That is a big topic and specific to a web server. I'll leave a link of the documentation you can go back and check but as part of this tutorial I'll, I'll show you how you can use with your dispatcher configuration and we'll see some common use cases how you can write that so I will be showing this demo on Mac machine the concept is same you can use as it is same in your Windows machine as well so first thing you need to check they, we have a module called mode rewrite that module is enabled or not means that is not commented so for that wherever you are loading your modules in our case we are loading in httpd so open this and search for mod rewrite you must see that modules loaded if you go to the mod in these modules you will see the hash is written before some of the modules so those are commented so we should have a rewrite module which must be uncommented initially you will be seeing the module commented Re Okay, you will see here mod dot rewrite dot so it's not commented in your case it can be commented so this must be uncommented first then we can add these rewrites uh, in your virtual host so we have virtual host here let's take example of this first geeks tutorial so you can write rewrite here rewrite rules here we use rewrite rules to write redirects so but i don't want to make this file complex so i will be writing these in a different file and i will including this file in this virtual host so what happened you can write like this if you check whether i have that rewrite module or not if i have so first you have to make that rewrite engine enable you can have it uppercase or lowercase both works so rewrite engine on and now what i'm saying save i'm writing all my rewrite rule specific to this website in this file so i will be writing separate file for separate website so that i don't mix rewrites from one website to another and it will be easy for the maintenance so let's check that where it is dconf conf d rewrite if i go here rewrite and there are file of this one okay so you see i have written something so first you can check rewrite condition if you need it it's not needed for a rewrite but if you're checking if you want any rewrite based on some condition so you can write that rewrite condition so what i'm saying if i get request uri means if i get domain so where it should be redirected it should be redirected to this page all right and so let's me save this and we have to restart Apache every time if we make some changes. So my Apache has been restarted. If I hit this now, only the locally set up domain, it should redirect to my home page. And this is correct. It is redirecting to my home page. So if I do this for, let me close this, will not see this. AM, AM Geeks. 
okay it is not going still reason being is we added configuration only for geeks tutorial so that is the advantage of having modular configuration it will touch only your configurations so let's see one more example i have this site and i what i want if i hit something let's say whatever the my text is i should be redirected to some page okay so what i'm saying okay if i hit all 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 authors or author details or something whatever page i want to redirect to some other page so if you check uh, what i'm saying with domain if i get this author hyphen details or author so if you see the pipe symbol this is kind of a digit so after dispatcher version 4.2 Two, you can write some edX in your configurations as well so what I'm saying either one this is fine uh, find after my domain it should be redirected to this page okay so let me let me restart and access this all right so if I hit this it sh it is redirecting to my this page and even if I use this authors because I'm using pipe symbol it should redirect to the same page all right you will notice one thing here i don't see anything in browser right browser i only see whatever i typed in so but ideally this is redirecting to the different page let me show you so what i do if you see here after this redirect i see some text right so let me do it let me change this pt earlier it was pt and uh, l so let me do it r all right let me save this and let me restart my server all right now if i hit this it is still redirecting but now you can see my url okay ideally this should be the shortened URL obviously in ideal case we'll see that in coming tutorials this can be done through AEM as well but as we are talking only here redirects so now you will see the use of these this this is called flags so these can alter your redirect behavior I will leave a link of this web server rewrite documentation you can go back and check I'll tell you a few things PT is means pass through it it will add a redirect sometime it is called internal redirect which you can't see in your browser this is called redirect this is called last means if you have multiple rules whenever it find this that rule will be applied and you can use more than one as well if you see if we are using PT I mean pass through comma L last that way you can use a combination of these as well this by this you can write redirect rule there are number of ways you can write there and there are thousands of ways of writing redirect rule right you can play around this as per your need this was just a uh, basic to make you understand how and where you can write redirect rule with a dispatcher configuration i hope you understood if you have any question please add comment thank you